Alrighty, mom number three, what is there about your daughter that reminds you of yourself when you were dating? Well, there's not too much that reminds me of myself when I was dating, except maybe she likes to park. <laughs> From Hollywood, the dating capital of the world, it's The Dating Game. And here's the star of our show, your host, Jim Lyons. Thank you very much. Woo! Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody here in the studio, and welcome at home. Well, this Sunday is Mother's Day, a very special day, and so today we're going to celebrate Mother's Day with a very special dating game show that'll bring us a young lady in game one who's one of the stars of My Three Sons. She'll be choosing a date for her attractive mother. But we've done it differently in game two because a sharp young man will be picking his date by asking questions of the three girls' mothers. And we'll get all that underway right after these words. Watch. Well, all ready to charm a certain very young lady in hopes of winning a date with a very lovely mother are three most articulate bastards. So let's meet them right now. And here they are. Welcome, gentlemen. Bachelor number one is a high school teacher and a coach who wants to be a college football coach. He likes dirt bike riding. He enjoys skiing and car racing. Please welcome Don Dorkowski. Welcome, Don. A commodity broker, bachelor number two, would like to have his own brokerage business someday. He's a former Iowa State wrestling champ. He's worked in the music business, and he likes golf and dancing. Meet Jack Bryan. Good luck you, Jack. And bachelor number three is an actor who will soon be seen in the motion picture Skyjack. He's appeared on the Men at Law series and the Interns and he enjoys swimming and tennis. His name is Jason Kane. <laughs> Welcome, Jason. And those are the sterling bachelor citizens for today's game number one. Now, to prevent our young lady from hearing the introductions of our three gentlemen, we've been keeping her isolated off stage in a soundproof room. Let's bring her on stage right now. She's Dodie Douglas in the popular My Three Sons series, and she recently appeared with Gregory Peck in the film Shootout and co-starred with Elliot Gould and I Love My Wife. Please join me in a special dating game. Welcome for Dawn Lynn. Hi, Dawn. Are you ready? I'm nervous. You're nervous? Well, I'll tell you what. The gentleman over there, I want you to know this, gentleman, that Dawn is going to pick a date for her mother. Now, I want you to say hello to Dawn. Number one, would you say hi to Dawn, please? Hi, Dawn. Number two? Hi, Dawn. And number three? Hello, Dawn. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. But you're wearing it off the shoulder here a little bit. There we go. Good luck. All right, Dawn, you can start. Bachelor number one, Mother's Day is Sunday. If I give you to my mommy for Mother's Day, will I have to give you something for Father's Day? Well, I really don't think so, because I think I'll really respect and cherish the gift you gave me for Mother's Day, and I think that'll be appropriate. Hmm. Number two, same question. No, uh, I, that would be uh, good enough to uh, have a nice uh, Easter Day uh, or Mother's Day dinner with uh, yourself and your mother. Mmm, that's nice. Number three, my mommy... Wait, yeah, number three, my mommy likes a man's man. Could you explain to me what a man's man is? And remember, I'm only nine years old. Uh, okay, Dawn, a man's <laughs> man uh, would bring you lollipops and roses and put his arms around your mother and say uh, he'd love to run his fingers through her hair like Cary Grant would do. Bachelor number one, you've brought my mother home late, really, real late, and I've been waiting up for the two of you on the front porch. <laughs> Where were you guys? <laughs> well, that's, that's really, I'm glad you're up because we've been searching all night for a gift because I'm so appreciative of you and, and the way you are and, and your understanding way that you allow me to take your mother out. So we just went out and I tried to find you something that you would really like and it took all night. <laughs> Bachelor number two, same question. Well, we were out for uh, dinner, and we were uh, dancing and having a good time. And uh, But on the way home, uh, I stopped, and uh, so I, was, I brought you back this chocolate malt. I'll bet it's melted. <laughs> Probably. 
<laughs> Bachelor number one, my mommy and I go to the beach a lot, and she looks cute in a swimsuit. When you go to the beach, what animal do you look like in your swimsuit? <laughs> Just a big teddy bear. <laughs> Master number one, would you make a good daddy? I think I would make a superlative daddy. What would you do? Why is that, number one? Well, I have patience. <laughs> I like children. I like little girls. <laughs> <laughs> and their mothers. <laughs> hmm. Number two, same question. Uh, yes, I uh, think I would make a very good... Uh, a very good father. I like children very much, uh, little girls in particular, and I like to do things uh, that I think little girls would like, like uh, maybe going down to the, the San Diego Zoo and, uh, and things like that. Mm. Okay. Number one, what are some of the things you're going to say to my mommy that you don't want me to hear? <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's Dawn's birthday. Now, we've I bought her this bike, and I'm going to put it in the closet. Now, I don't want her to know where it is. And also, the dolls that are put in the garage, don't let her hear where I put them. I heard, I heard. <laughs> Devil. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, I like to do a lot of things with my mother. And I know you like to do a lot of things with my mother. But what are some of the things we could do all together? Well, as I mentioned before, uh... I like to do a lot of things that the family could do together. Dawn, that's it. Game is over. Now you stay right there and try and pick a date for your mommy, okay? And while Dawn is deciding which of our bachelors will be the date for her mother, we'll take some time out for these words. Watch. Welcome back to the dating game, and Dawn, you're all shaking here. You're so nervous, you have to make a big decision for your mommy. Are you ready? Yeah. Which one will it be then? Bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Which one do you choose? I guess number one. Number one, all right. Number one, huh? Okay. Now, you had a little chance to think about it. Is there, is there any, any particular reason why you thought number one would be best for your mommy? I guess because I like his answers. That, well, that's the best reason we've had yet. Now, before you meet him, I want you to meet the other gentleman who you didn't choose. Number two, Don is a former wrestling champion. He wants to... Come on. He is. He wants to own his own commodities brokers. He loves to play golf. He loves to dance. And he said he would take you to the San Diego Zoo, too. His name is Jack Bryan. Jack, come on and say hello to Don, please. Thank you, Jack. You did a good job. You can go right out this way, Jack. You also didn't choose number three, Don. Now, he is an actor. He'll soon be seen in the film Skyjacked. If you go to see the movie, you'll see him. He likes tennis, he loves to swim, and he likes little girls, too. Jason Kane. Jason, come on and say hello to Don, please. Oh, wow. Thank you, Jason. Good job. All right, now, those are the two you did not choose. You selected number one. I'd like to tell you something about the date you got for your mommy, Don. He teaches in school, in high school, and he would like to be a coach. At college athletics, he enjoys skiing, he loves car racing, and his name is Don Dorkowski. Don, come on and say hello to Don, please. There he is. Well, as you might have guessed, we're doing uh, things a little bit differently today in our celebration of Mother's Day by having young Don choose a date for her mother, which she just did. So let's meet the lovely lady right now, Don's mother. Like her daughter, she's an actress who's been highly successful as a model and commercial artist. She's done costume designs for feature films. It's my great pleasure to welcome to our show Don Lynn's mother, Carolyn Stiller. Hello, Carolyn. Have you met uh, your date over there? Oh, you got a kiss. Well, Don and Carolyn, let me tell you what's going to happen. And you can listen, too, Don. All right. Carolyn, even a fortune teller couldn't have predicted the place we picked for your date with Don, because who could ever have dreamed up a place as unbelievably fabulous as 
Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, amazing is the word for it. You'll be flying off for a plane at the fabulous town of Las Vegas to be guests to the fantastic Flamingo Hotel, a favorite spot along the Vegas Strip. At the Flamingo, you'll have a choice table in their spacious theater restaurant for a delightful dinner. And after that marvelous meal, it'll be showtime, and you'll find yourselves being delighted with the songs of Sergio Franchi and the comedy annex of Mr. Pat Cooper, all making for a great evening's day for you to that fabulous town, Las Vegas, Nevada. And Dawn has a little special gift for you. Can you get your arms around there? There you go. For you, we want you to have that life-size Raggedy Ann doll to take home for your very own. Let's Oh, mm. All right, thank you, Don. Can you carry it all right? Okay, you get over there and make, make it crazy with Raggedy Ann. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Carolyn. Have fun. It's bigger than she was. And now the fun has just begun, because as I indicated at the beginning, in today's second dating game, we'll have a very young man asking questions of the mothers of three young ladies his own age. And we'll get that underway right after these words about the special gift Johnny Jacobs has for today's special guest. John? Okay, Jim, the first game's dating couple will receive star flight luggage, including a woman's ensemble, including train case for the dating lady, and a handsome men's grouping for the dating bachelor, star flight luggage, and perfect companion for traveling. It's lightweight and resists stains, dents, and bruises. The second game dating couple will receive a fine rosewood mahogany guitar with carrying case from the famous Spiegel Catalog Company with over 50,000 quality items, providing value selection and savings. Spiegel, Chicago, Illinois. Many of our dating couples in Los Angeles will tour the town in their chauffeur-driven Caprice, the biggest, most luxurious Chevrolet ever with the looks and comfort of a more expensive car but at traditional Chevrolet prices. For the bachelors not chosen in the first game, we have Hager Double Knit Slacks, wrinkle-proof, completely washable, and unbelievably comfortable. They conform for a perfect fit, Hager Double Knit Slacks. And for the girls not selected in game two, we have Ship and Shore Blouses and Knits and Way Ahead Colors and Styles and the newest carefree fabrics, fashion and fun from Ship and Shore. All of our guest mothers on today's show will receive beautiful flowers and candy with love from the dating game for Mother's Day. Now let's return to game two of the dating game and your host, Jim Lyons. Thank you very much, Johnny. Well, now it'll be the three mothers who'll be trying to convince a young man he should pick their daughters for a date. So let's meet all the ladies right now, and here they are. Welcome mothers and welcome daughters. Our first charming miss is a high school junior who works part-time as a sales girl and a cashier for a variety store. She likes art and camping, and she says she'd like to live on a farm. Meet Nancy Rodding and her mother, Mrs. Nancy Rodding. Hello, ladies. Lovely miss number two is studying drama and science in high school. She likes to dance, she's active in school dramatics, and says she makes up knock-knock jokes in French. Born in Legendebach, West Germany, here is Hillary Crane and her mother, Mrs. Jean Crane. Hi. And pert and pretty Miss Number Three is interested in psychology. She plays softball on the team her mother manages, and she collects poems. Please welcome Cheryl Wyrick and her mother, Mrs. Perry Wyrick. Welcome to you, the Wyricks, and there you have three very pretty mother and daughter acts for today's special game number two. Now, in order to keep our young man from hearing anything about anything, we've kept him isolated off stage in our secret room. Let's bring him on stage right now. He's a high school senior who works part-time as an apprentice mechanic. He plans on attending college. He trains yearling thoroughbreds at his home, and he's been on his school's honor roll six out of eight semesters. Please help me. Welcome to the dating game, Greg Ullery. Hello, Greg. Are you ready? All right. Now, I don't know if you know it, Greg, but this is a little different today. Instead of asking questions of the three girls, you're going to be talking to their mothers in honor of Mother's Day. Yeah, that, okay, a whole different idea. Now, you ask the mothers the questions and make the decision based on their answers, and then you'll have a date with the winning daughter, okay? All right, let's, uh, let's have them say hello. Mother number one, would you please say good afternoon to Greg? I didn't hear his name. Greg. Hi, Greg. All right, number two. Good afternoon, Greg. And number three. Hello, Greg. All right, are you ready, Greg? Have a seat and fire away. Good luck, everybody, and here we go. Okay, mom number one. How do you know your daughter is fun to kiss? Oh, because she's nice and <laughs> soft and cuddly and uh, just nice. Oh, mom. <laughs> Sounds good. Mom number two, same question. Well, she's pretty and she's soft and sweet and she's had a lot of practice. <laughs>
Well, number three, how, will I have, how long will I have to know you before you let me spend some time alone with your daughter? And I mean all alone. Well, <clears throat> at least six months. <laughs> Why six I, months? Well, I prize my daughter very highly. That's very nice. I'm glad for you. <laughs> Not really. You could have her tomorrow. <laughs> Mom number one, same question. Well, I would probably invite you over for dinner, and we'd have a little talk, and, and uh, <laughs> oh, maybe about three or four weeks. It sounds good. Mom number two, I know your daughter's behind you back there, so take a look over your shoulder and describe her prettiest feature to me. Oh, her big blue eyes. Why just her eyes? <laughs> Why just the eyes, he said, number two. Well, that's her prettiest feature. All righty. Nice Mom number one, same question. She has pretty blue eyes, and she has a nice smile and a dimple. <laughs> All righty. Mom number three, what is there about your daughter that reminds you of yourself when you were dating? Well, there's not too much that reminds me of myself when I was dating, except maybe she likes to park. <laughs> Are you sure about that, number three? How long have you known this? <laughs> How long have you known it, uh, Greg would like to know, number three? Oh, for at least two years. <laughs> uh, Mom number two, while I'm waiting for your daughter to get ready, you decide to drag out the old family photo album. Would you describe some of the groovy pictures you're going to show me? Well, if I was going to show you some old family pictures of my daughter when she was a baby, I think I'd show you my favorite, which is uh, when she was in a crib with one foot sticking out the side and sucking on her big toe. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> he liked that, I yeah, think. That's good. Mom number one, same question. Well, my daughter took ballet lessons, and I have one of her in a pretty frilly <laughs> costume that came out pretty good. I think you'd enjoy that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, Mom number three, what are some of the things that qualify you as good grandmother material? <laughs> well, let's just say I hope she has at least one just like her. And I feel raising her has made me qualified to be one. All right. Great, Greg. Great mothers. Now, you stay right there and make up your mind. And while Greg is deciding which one of the mothers has done the job and which young daughter gets the date, we'll take time out for these good words. Watch. Just you and you were young and new Just when to come and see what you had done, Mama Oh, Mama And who's the one who patched your eye And told you not to cry Cause he was too big for you to try Welcome back to the dating game, and this is decision time, and a most unusual decision it is, Greg. You're going to have to tell us which you're going to choose now. Will it be number one, number two, or number three? Which is the winning gal? I don't know. Uh, number two. Number two! All right. All right, mother number two did the job for her daughter. Is there any particular reason why you chose number two, Greg? Oh, well, her mother sounded really cool. Her mother sounded cool? Yeah. Oh, all right. I mean, when you got a good mother, you got a good daughter, so... All right, well, that's good thinking. Now, before you meet her, I would like you to meet the other mother and daughter couples over there. Uh, number one is a high school junior. She likes art and camping, Greg, and says she'd like to live on a farm. I'd like you to meet number one, Nancy Rodding, and her mother, Mrs. Nancy Rodding. Come on, gal. Nancy, thank you so much. You go right out there. Mrs. Rodding, thank you. Marvelous job. Now, number three wasn't chosen, Greg. And number three is interested in psychology. The daughter is. She plays softball for her mother's team, and she collects poems. I'd like you to meet number three, Cheryl Weirich, and her mother, Mrs. Ferry Weirich. Cheryl? There we go. Thank you so much, Joe. Great job. And thank you, Mrs. Weirich. And now... 
your date, Greg, and I'll tell you something about number two. Your date is studying drama and science in school. She likes to dance. She was born in West Germany. I'd like you to meet your date, Hillary Crane, and her mother, Mrs. Jean Crane. Hillary and Mrs. Crane, come on, Hillary. Congratulations. Oh, you can hang on to both hands there, Greg, because you may need it for this. Greg, this Sunday may be Mother's Day, but I'm sure that you'll agree that today is your day, especially when you hear that your date with Hillary is taking you to Honolulu, Hawaii! That's right. It's fabulous Hawaii for you and your dating game chaperone, where you'll be guests at the friendly Waikiki Gateway Hotel, a Hyatt Lodge at the gateway to famed Waikiki Beach. It's one of the newest high-rise hotels in Waikiki, overlooking Diamond Head and the romantic Honolulu skyline. You'll find your days and nights are filled with exciting activities, including, of course, sunning and surfing on the famous Hawaiian beaches. And at the Waikiki Gateway Hotel, you're certain to experience the hospitality, romance, and comfort that have long been a tradition of the islands of Hawaii. You'll fly there via Western Airlines and Comparable Islander Flight, the finest service ever to Hawaii. Western, you know, is first in space, leg space, that is. Have a great time. And a lot of you can. And a happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. We'll be back with our dating couples right after this message. Thank you, John. Congratulations to you. Great mom. Happy Mother's Day. Have fun in Hawaii. Everybody ready to throw a kiss? Okay, let's go. Bye. The Dating Game is a Chuck Ferris production in association with the American Broadcasting Company.